Hello subscribers and new viewers. This is Piyush Pant. I am an architect and you are watching People's TV English. Subscribe our channel, like and share the videos and help us in spreading the free knowledge. It's free and always will be. I was asked so many times as how to get high resolution images exported from SketchUp because the default images which we normally export from SketchUp on default settings are very low resolution and pixelated and get blurred when we zoom in a little. Not all the time we want rendered images from SketchUp. Exported images from SketchUp are also used for many application like project presentation, rendering, or finding in Photoshop and so on. Now we will learn a small trick by which we can export high resolution images directly from SketchUp looking almost like a rendered image. So first of all we will do a default exporting of image. Ok first go to SketchUp. Here I have prepared an interior scene for an example. Actually it is a part of my previous done project so it's coming handy now. It has many furniture and components which will be helpful in comparison later. Now go to the file menu on the top. Move your mouse over export option. You will see a list of exporting mediums SketchUp gives us. We want to export an image so we will go for 2D graphic. An export window dialog will open. Just name the file to default and hit export in the end. SketchUp will take a bit time in processing the image depending on your computer performance. Now our file is saved. Let's open the default exported image. When we open the default exported image and zoom in, you will see how badly the image is pixelating. Center table edges, sofa corners, side lamps, walls and windows, everything is dizzy dizzy. So how to remove this? Let's go back to the SketchUp again with the same file. Again follow the same process. File menu, then export and select 2D graphic. Till here all steps are same as before. After that, when export window dialog is open, before saving your file, just select the export at bottom. An export JPG window dialog will open, giving you option of image size, rendering effect and image quality. In the default mode, you can see use view size box is checked, which will export the image in the size which is visible in your screen in SketchUp. When that box is checked, you can't edit the height and width of the pixel to increase the image size. So let's uncheck the box and you can see now we are able to edit the pixel sizes of the image. Let's see how far we can go in the pixel sizes. When I typed 9 number digit more than 4 times, an SketchUp error dialog will open telling that you can enter integer between 1 and 4 times 9 that is 9999. Just click OK to that. The width and height of the pixels are in same proportion as of the screen view image. So whatever digits you will enter, either in height or width of the pixel, another dimension will change accordingly. I am taking the maximum value of 9999 as a pixel width. You can see the height of the pixel are changing automatically. But when you will export the image as PNG format, you can change the file type from the rollout. Then click the options button again. Now in the export dialog, you will see the options have changed. Under rendering option, another parameter is added which is transparent background. By which you can create a PNG without any background which is not possible in JPG and the compression option which we were getting in JPG is removed here. I prefer PNG as it takes less size and has same effect as JPG and with transparent background it's very handy in Photoshop work. 
Now coming back to the JPG export option dialog. Keeping the rendering mode as NTLES and image quality to maximum, just click OK to start the exporting. Rename this file to high resolution and now hit the export finally. This exporting will take more time than the previous default exporting because the file size will be more. Let's open the location where I have saved both images that is default image and high resolution image. The default JPG image which we exported in the beginning is of 740 KB only. And the image we exported by using the pixel sizes and NTLS effect is of 9.50 MB. You can see the vast difference in the resolution of both the images. Now let's open both these images simultaneously and compare them. On the left of you is the default image we exported in the beginning. And on your right is the high resolution image we exported in last. Now let's zoom in default image. Let's see the center table. Now keep it at center and go to high resolution image and zoom at the same location as we did in default image. Here, now you can see such vast difference in both the images. The edges of the wooden table are so fine in high resolution image, even the texture applied to it is also coming so refined. The edge lines of the glass is so better. I haven't given it any texture to keep it transparent. Now compare the sofa edges, the corners curves and seats of sofa are looking so render like. The side table lamps also are so clear now. The curves in the curtains have refined so much in high resolution image. Clearly this small trick to get high resolution image is more handy than the default image when we want to save a lot of time in rendering and need a refined render like images from SketchUp.